What's going on guys? It's Jake here and today we are going to be doing another try hack me room. We're going to be doing the HTTP in detail. So if you guys are new to this channel, I don't really go through all the detail. I kind of just go through the answers and show you guys how to solve them. Uh, a lot of them are going to be super simple, especially on this one since this is a beginner room. Uh, but let's just get right into this. So the first question, what does HTTP stand for? It tells us right here, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. All right, and then the next one is going to be what does the S in HTTPS stand for? It tells us right here, secure. Usually when there's an S in an abbreviation like this, it, it usually stands for secure. And then on the mock web page on the right uh, on the right side here, if it doesn't load, there's a view site up here. You can press that and it should load, but I think it automatically does. Uh, there's an issue. Once you found it, click on it. And what's the challenge flag? So usually when there's an issue like this, it looks like it's not secure. We can click on that and it'll tell us right here. Valid HTTP cert. Copy that and then we can paste it here. For task number two, we only got two questions here. The first one is asking what protocol is being used in the example above. It says right here, HTTP slash 1.1. Go ahead and submit that. That one's right. And then the next one, what response header tells the browser how much data to expect? So it's asking for how much data. So this one should be the content length right here. So we'll go ahead and type that in. All right, and that's it for task number two. We'll go to task number three, HTTP methods. Okay, so for task number three, it basically just tells you the most common HTTP methods here. Uh, question number one, what method would be used to create a new user account? Uh, so this one should be the post because you're creating new records here. What method would be used to update your email address? Um, so it says right here, the put one would be to update information. What method would be used to remove a picture? Uh, this one would be delete. And what method would be used to view a news article? So that would be the, the get one because that's just getting information. All right, task number four is status codes. Moving on to the questions here, what response code might you receive if you've uh, created a new user or blog post article? Uh, so this one I believe should be a 201. All right, that one's correct. What response code might you receive if you've tried to access a page that doesn't exist? Uh, that should be 404, probably not found. Yeah, 404 page not found. What response code might you receive if the web server cannot access its database and the application crashes? Uh, it looks like that's probably the 503 here. And then what response code might you receive if you try to edit your profile without logging in first? Uh, probably a 405 or no, it'll probably be a 401 not authorized. Okay, and that's all the questions for this. You don't really have to do anything with the websites over here, although I guess it just gives you some examples if you want to play around with. But other than that, we're going to move to task number five and that's going to be headers here. So the first question here, what header tells the web server what browser is being used? That one should be the user agent right here. The user dash agent. That one's correct. What header tells the browser what type of data is being returned? Uh, so that should be content type right here. And then what header tells the web server which website is being requested? That is gonna be the host. All right, that one was also really easy. We're gonna move on to task number six here. Okay, so task number six is basically all about cookies. Um, if you've read this already, that's great. Uh, basically what cookies are, it's mainly just to store authentication. So when you log back into the website, it already knows who you are and it makes the whole sign-in process a lot easier if you even have to sign it again. Most likely, probably not until it expires. Uh, but the only question on this one is which header is used to save cookies on your computer. Uh, that should be the set dash cookie there. This one, make sure you hit view site and it should take you to this. It'll show you everything you can interact with and change right here. So let's start with the first question here. Make a get request to the slash room. So it's already on git. We'll go over to room. We'll just add room to the end there and then we'll hit go. And it looks like this is our flag right here. Copy that and paste it right here. Okay, and then it says make a git request to the slash blog and using the gear icon set the ID parameter to one. 
Okay, so same thing. It's gonna be Git, so you don't mess with the first one. We'll change this to blog and change this to we'll do ID equals one here. Save that. We'll go. Then it looks like this is our flag for the blog. Submit that. All right, now it's saying to delete um, a user here. So we'll delete user slash one. I think we can delete the perimeter here. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know if you have to delete the perimeter, but I did anyways. So this is our flag for this one. User is deleted. Okay, so for the next question, make a put request for user two with the username parameter set to admin. Uh, so it's basically exactly what it says here. So we're gonna put a put request. We're gonna change this to user slash two. And then for the parameter, it says we're gonna use the username parameter. So we'll type that in and we'll set that to admin here. Save that. Username equals admin, go. This is our flag here for that one. Then the last one, post the username of THM and a password of let me in to slash login. We're gonna go ahead and change this to login. Do a post request. We'll do a username of THM. Then we're gonna do another parameter with password. And the password is let me in with no spaces. And we're gonna go ahead and hit go. And this is the last flag. All right, and that's gonna be everything for the HTTP in detail. If you guys are ever stuck in a try hack me room, uh, just come to my channel. I will hopefully have every room in the future, but right now I only have probably 10 or so. So if you guys wanna support me, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys.